John Cena book it for a new movie shoot right before WrestleMania 39 Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre out of action with the same injury and more update watch full video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Suhaib and you are watching Wrestling Fact. First update. Sonya Deville not happy about her current WWE booking. Sonya Deville first made her NXT debut in 2015 and within just a couple of years in the black and gold brand, Deville made her main roster debut. Sonya Deville comes from a MA background, which adds a sense of legitimacy to her. Despite her acumen, Sonya Deville hasn't been properly used on WWE programming. She spent several months in an unwrestling role before finally returning to in-ring action. However, WWE have been reluctant to push her. Sonya Deville was even buried in her mini feud with Liv Morgan. In fact, her last televised match was almost a month ago on the November 11th edition of SmackDown, where she participated and lost a six-way match. Her last match in general was on November 25th as she beat Kiana James in a dark match before SmackDown. Recently, she took to Twitter to let everyone know that she wants to wrestle. I want to wrestle. Sonya Deville seems frustrated that she hasn't been able to wrestle in recent weeks. We will have to wait and see how what WWE is in store for her in the future. Stay tuned wrestling fact as we keep you updated on this story. What do you make of this story? Sound off in the comments section. Second update Lacey Evans drags fans for caring more about her cleavage than mental health awareness. Lacey Evans made her NXT debut in 2016. After just three years in the black and gold brand, she got promoted to the main roster. Since her debut, Lacey Evans has been a prominent feature on WWE television. Over the years, Lacey Evans has amassed a big fan following on social media. Most of the time she posts gorgeous pictures of herself while other times she tries to raise awareness about various issues such as mental health awareness. However, her revealing pictures gain more traction than her posts about mental health awareness, and Evans isn't happy about it either. Recently, Lacey Evans posted a revealing photo on Twitter, which was written about and shared by another publication. To this, a fan replied that she is making headlines, which didn't please Lacey Evans. Lacey blasted the fans for caring more about her cleavage than mental health awareness. Try to raise awareness for mental health and addiction. Crickets. Post some cleavage and mention someone's wife. Headlines. You people make me sick. Lacey Evans last competed on the November 11th edition of SmackDown, where she lost a six-way match. Recently, WWE has been showcasing videos of Lacey Evans in a different slight suggesting a change of gimmick. What's your take on this story? Let us know in the comments section. Third update Soraya doesn't have malicious feelings about WWE after a W jump. Soraya had a tremendous career in WWE, where she became a trailblazer. Following her retirement, Soraya kept herself engaged in numerous roles before WWE decided to not renew her contract. She came to AEW and has already become a regular feature there since day one. In fact, she has no malicious feelings about WWE after debuting in AEW. Soraya debuted in AEW a couple of months ago and took the pro wrestling world by storm. Fans were simply elated to see the former WWE superstar in an AEW ring. While speaking to TMZ Sports, Soraya talked about all the support she got following her debut match at AEW Full Gear. Soraya also made it clear that she has no malicious feelings towards WWE. I realized how much support I had because obviously leaping into the other company was nothing malicious or personal. 
It was just where I am at in my life and nothing personal. Debuting, I got a ton of support. I was thinking of getting back in the ring, and I was like, even WWE's not gonna stop people from congratulating someone who did something incredible like that. I don't think they'd get mad at someone like Bailey or anyone like to be like hey don't congratulate someone on coming back on a life-ending injury. It felt good to have both sides being so supportive. Soraya was also blown up after her in-ring debut. She will be teaming up with a partner of her choice and face Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter on the January 11th edition of AEW Dynamite next year. We'll have to see who will win the match. Did you like Suraz in ring debut? Sound off in the comments. Fourth update. WWE making plans for Charlotte Flair's return. Charlotte Flair's booking in WWE was undeniably one of the most controversial topics in the company, as fans were simply fed up with seeing her in the main event title picture all the time. She hasn't been seen for a while now, but it seems the company is finally making plans for her return. At WrestleMania Backlash back in May, Ronda Rousey challenged Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship in an IQUIT single quote match. Rousey ended up defeating Flair for the title. Flair has been absent from WWE television since then. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWE Creative is making plans for the Queen's return to WWE television. Creative is making plans for the Charlotte Flair return. Flair has already teased her in ring return recently as well. We will have to wait and see when the Queen will make her triumphant return to WWE television. After all, Flair will be adding much needed star power to Friday Night Smackdown, once she is back. When do you think Charlotte Flair should make her return? Fifth update Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre out of action with the same injury. Kevin Owens confronted the Tribal Chief during the Men's War Games match and slapped him across the face, allegedly rupturing his eardrum. Drew McIntyre also announced that he had been medically disqualified from competing. It looks like both the top superstars are out of action with the same injury. According to Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Reigns and McIntyre are both currently sidelined following Eardrum ruptures at Survivor Series. They are expected to return soon because it is only a temporary situation. None of the post Christmas shows, not even MSG, feature Reigns. McIntyre had an injury at Survivor Series, but he continued to work through the December 4th house event in Portland, Maine. Not realizing how seriously until he was checked out following the performance. He announced on December 5th that he was medically disqualified, but neither he nor WWE disclosed the nature of the injury. Both Reigns and McIntyre are out of action for right now due to suffering ruptured eardrums at Survivor Series. It's a short-term thing and both should be back soon. Reigns is not on any of the post-Christmas shows, not even MSG. McIntyre is expected back for those shows. McIntyre was hurt at Survivor Series but kept working on it through the 12 4 house show in Portland, me but didn't realize he was hurt that bad until he was examined after that show. He posted being medically disqualified on 12-5 but he and WWE did not say what the exact injury was. WWE staff recently lauded Drew McIntyre for his dedication to the company. Let's hope Drew and Reigns recovers with the speed of light. To get the latest updates, Keep an eye on Wrestling Fact. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments. Sixth update. Zelina Vega praying for chance to portray popular superhero. Zelina Vega made her return last after she was initially released by WWE back in 2020. 
She competed for a while, but once again went on hiatus due to an injury, but finally came back a couple of months ago. Vega is proud of her heritage and now wants to portray her popular Puerto Rican superhero. After a long hiatus because of injury, Zelina Vega returned on a previous episode of SmackDown, where she came back alongside Legado del Fantasma. That move surprised a lot of people, because Vega took Electra Lopez's spot. Vega is a huge fan of pop culture in general, especially when it comes to superheroes. La Borjanquina is a Puerto Rican superhero featured in a classic superhero story created and written by Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. Vega took to Twitter and stated that she is praying for a chance to portray the character. I've been praying for that opportunity. Zelina Vega also recently revealed that Triple H and Stephanie McMahon trust her to cut her own promos. It remains to be seen whether Vega will get the opportunity to portray La Borjanquina or not. Do you like Zelina Vega? Sound off in the comments. 7th Update Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green could get no reality television gig. Matt Cardona was popular with the WWE Universe during his time as Zack Ryder. However, there are some speculations regarding Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green that may excite their fans according to Wrestling Observer Newsletter, there are discussions regarding E! News launching a new reality show is ongoing, but it's not certain if it will come to fruition. The show is probably going to be about real-life pro wrestling couples. Whether this comes to fruition, there are talks with E! About a new reality show. They are looking for legitimate wrestling couples. So some upcoming signings could relate to that if the project is finalized. The Matt Cardona name was mentioned as possible if the deal goes through since Chelsea Green is in. Fans might see the couple of Chelsea Green and Matt Cardona on television, but this time they'll be not in the ring, instead, they could show the real side of their relationship to fans. It will be exciting to witness, if the shows goes down. Keep checking Wrestling Fact for more developments. What's your take on it? Sound off in the comments. 8th Update Bramdy Rhodes having massive Twitter problems. Bramdy Rhodes has been in the wrestling realm for a while now. Apart from being a diva, she has also done very well as a businesswoman. Despite all that success, she is currently locked out of Twitter, and as a result, she cannot do podcasts anymore. Rhodes took to Instagram stories and shared her concerns regarding not being able to post podcasts. This problem arises due to the fact that she hasn't been able to log into her Twitter account. According to Brandy, it has been three days since she couldn't log in without any subsequent help. The former WWE diva started a podcast in October 2022. She named the show, Two Lies and One Truth, and labeled it as a fun and light-hearted podcast on parenting. She has a cute little daughter, Libby, and therefore she shares every topic under the sun related to parenting on her podcast alongside a solid mom or dad. Since her appearance on the EW Dark, Elevation in January, Bramdy has not engaged in pro wrestling. She and her husband Cody Rhodes departed AEW in February. Even though Brandy was alongside Cody behind the scenes at WrestleMania 38, she hasn't formally joined WWE. On the 10 Count podcast, Bramdy Rhodes was questioned about whether WWE viewers may anticipate seeing her join her husband in the ring. She remarked that Cody doesn't require her at the moment, but if he did, then they may talk about it. Although Brandy claimed in July that she was still preparing for a future in-ring comeback, the rumors seem to have died down. Brandy Rhodes doesn't seem to have any wrestling plans in the future. Her podcast paved the way for her to explore different things in life. Now that she is consumed with the show, 
We hope to see her back as soon as her Twitter issue gets resolved. What are your thoughts on the story? Let us know in the comments. Ninth update Seamus currently wrestling through injury. Seamus had a great career in WWE, winning multiple championships during his time in the company. The Celtic Warrior has almost done it all when it comes to being a WWE superstar. He is also a very tough guy, as Seamus is currently wrestling in WWE despite being injured. Seamus teamed up with his brawling brute teammates, Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens to square off against the Bloodline at WWE Survivor Series War Games. Despite Seamus' best efforts, it was Roman Reigns' faction that won in the end. Even after that, Seamus made it clear he isn't done with the Bloodline. According to Dave Meltzer in Wrestling Observer Newsletter, it was reported that Seamus is still competing in matches despite being banged up. It was not disclosed exactly what is bothering the Celtic Warrior. Seamus is also banged up but working through it. Seamus will be teaming up with Butch and will take on the Usos for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships on this week's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. We will have to wait and see who will come out on top in the match. What's your take Seamus? Sound off in the comments. 10th update. John Cena book it for a new movie shoot right before WrestleMania 39. John Cena is a 16-time world champion and carried the company to the best of his abilities for over a decade. After 2017, he adopted the role of a part-timer due to his busy schedule in Hollywood. Regardless, whenever Senna returns, it is always a big deal. It seems Senna is booked for a new movie shoot right before WrestleMania 39. The leader of Senation was last seen during an episode of Monday Night Raw in June, where WWE celebrated the 20th anniversary of his time in the company. He also had a brief confrontation with Austin Theory. According to Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, it was reported that John Cena will be filming the movie Ricky's and Nicky, a comedy with Zac Efron. He will be shooting throughout February and March, which will be right before WrestleMania 39, on April 1st and 2nd. There is a question regarding Cena at Mania. He is scheduled to be in Australia throughout February and March filming the movie Ricky's and Nicky, a comedy with Zac Efron. We will have to wait and see when Senna will make his return to WWE television, as a match with Austin Theory could still be in the works for the grandest stage of them all next year. If anything, we knew that John Senna would have to work around his busy schedule to make any WWE appearance happen. What do you think of John Cena? Sound off in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in my next video. Wrestling has more than one.